What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and the time is right now for you guys to start to prepare yourself for the free golden tickets. The fan appreciation bundle, uh, it is $20 each, it's like two of them, and then you have the coin versions of those packs. I did actually open them up, the pack goddess is back. Uh, she did do some of that, I'm gonna get you guys that info uh, coming out soon, I'll drop that vid for you guys, let you guys check it out. It'll also be over at G-Miles World Gaming, um, but pretty much I wanna talk to you guys about both aspects of what's going on. Because the program has nothing to do with that. It's like all inclusive, but you're going to pretty much have to do the challenges. Now, some of the challenges are full games, guys. Now, look, you guys are going to rage at me. I'm going to rage back at you because I don't want to do it either. But because of the breaking news that it is a fantasy pack and we can choose any of the golden tickets, that should include the developer golden tickets. So if we just hold the pack, because I think, what is it? I think you need 120, right? I'm gonna take a look at it right now uh, as it's coming up on the screen. You need about 120 stars. Currently, you can only get 69 stars, right? So you need 120 to get that nat 99 overall golden ticket. If you just hold the pack, they should update it. They did this last year, bro, where they updated the pack for the free players and you were able to pick any one of them. Now, I agree with you guys. You guys have been raging, yo, g -Mai, this is the worst year for golden tickets, they all suck. Y well, not all of them, but most of them do. Like the Benny Snell, like, come on, dude, like, what is that? But most of them, you get to have a little bit of an advantage because you can actually have a lot more abilities for less. And that's all that it's about, guys. It it's nothing else involved with it, so for me, I'm probably gonna do it because it'll get me coins back from a golden ticket that I already have. So it has nothing else to do with anything, but I'm going to make my coins back and then just wait for the rookie premieres because I don't know what else they're gonna do. They could have the summer blockbuster. I'm not sure how they're gonna work that. So it's not gonna be a lot more promos left for you to get coins unless they surprise us and just say like, look here, here goes this, here goes that, which I don't see happening because although they've made a lot of money throughout the year, they still gotta go ahead and try to snatch something up, you know, before the year's out. So I don't really see them dropping too many more promos for you guys, you know, my no money spent players, for you guys to have a way to make coins. But I do want you guys to understand a few things, right? You're gonna be able to go ahead and do this right now and get the 69 stars. The next drop that they do probably next week, you're gonna have that option now to get the players. All right. I don't know if they're going to probably, um, you know, probably in sequence drop it over the weekend. I think they would just wait until next week because I've been getting that question. Gmail, when are they going to drop the additional stars throughout the year? The way that the promos go through, you know, they always give time for you to accumulate it because this is the way that they make their money. Like they have to make their money, guys. Like, oh, yo, Gmail, why did they just drop it all at the same time? Because in the past, when people were able to grind through and get the card early, I guess they felt that they lost money. So you gotta wait to get your free card. And in the meantime, you'll be itching like, oh my God, I'm, I, bro, I need me some golden tickets. You're probably gonna spend some money. You're probably gonna go into training packs, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the ways that they generate uh, you know, their income. And like I said, they're not forcing you to do it. They're just dangling all these golden tickets in your face. And it's like, all right, how am I gonna get it? So yeah, they released the 69 stars. That's the max you can get right now. Um, but they will release, you know, future, um, you know, stars coming very, very soon. And then you'll be able to get it ultimately after, you know, most people have already spent their money and done all that stuff. Now, also, I haven't done my ultimate legend, uh, solo for this week. I think I'm going to have like 12 or 13. Some of you guys may be getting that free ultimate legend soon. That's also another way that I wanted to make sure that you guys were keeping up to date with some of the stuff that's going on, because I know that right now, most of us are just soloed out. Like, we don't want to play no soul. Like, yo, what? A full game? Hell. But again, it's a free golden ticket. And these golden tickets, you know, it's going to have some advantage. Even though, the you know, pretty much the, the, the cards themselves are not that good, you'll be able to choose any of them. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find one of them. Maybe the developers will uh, surprise us and make an actual good one that's better than the ones that we've seen. And we also don't know yet because at the time of this video, we still haven't gotten, um, you know, the Taysom Hill. We haven't gotten the Ryan Tannehill quarterback. So, you know, there's things on the horizon that can probably change our minds and be like, yo, it's, you know, these are decent cards. And then when we purchase it, we just go back, get the Nat version and sell it back. All right. So. In the meantime, right now, I need you guys to evaluate your teams and try to figure out what's going on because I would say the end of June, July, or maybe earlier, they're going to probably go ahead and drop those rookie premieres. And that's something that a lot of you guys are very excited about. Um, we have been able to uh, accumulate all 10 over the last two or three years. And in addition to that, 
give away millions and millions of coins uh, to my Twitch viewers uh, that were trying to also complete uh, those uh, rookie premiere sets. So that's going to be the next thing that's going on. So as far as like the fan appreciation, I'm going to let you guys see that video uh, in a little bit. Like I said, you know, this is really not something that you're going to make a lot off of. Some of you guys may pull some, you know, one or two golden tickets. Maybe you get like a, you know, a nice redux or whatever. But this is not really what, the, you know, what we need to go into Madden 22. You know, obviously, like, you know, I get I still get questions like, yo, you know, can we transfer the currency? Can we do stuff like that? Also, this Montez Sweat, really, really good golden ticket. So he at first, you know, you look at it like, yo, why would you make him? Uh, but you can do a lot of different things with him and his ability slots are a little bit unique um, The one thing that I don't like though is that he's a speed rusher archetype and we all know that those cards are usually trash But if you boost him up with pass rush and give him that 99 um, The way that we did uh, it, it kind of works out a little bit better, you know with the power moves and stuff like that So, you know, he he's pretty decent especially on a Washington football team where he's a 99 speed as a golden ticket so these are just some of the things that you could look at. I'm trying to show you, see what's going on. I'm adjusting abilities before I go into a game. Because like I said, we have to still evaluate what works. We have like three or four months that we have to find a way to manage with this game. You know, like I said, I love me some football. I'm going to play it. EA Sports does whatever they want to do to me. Uh, and I'm just like, yo, all right, you know, what's next? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like you got something else for me? And we keep coming back. Also, Timothy Tebow is still the best uh, golden ticket quarterback right now. He's nerfed the least leading up to the new golden tickets that are coming Friday So some of you guys were asking, you know, is that guy gonna last? Is he garbage? All of the above the dude probably sucks, but that's not what this is about What this is about is very very simple, right? We have to make sure like I said DK Metcalf's playing pretty well for me Like I just told you Montez Sweat is pretty decent I don't know if I want to go outside of this and start doing other weird things and getting all the other golden tickets just because um, like I said, obviously, I think we recently just uh, wanted to take another look at Robert Woods and start running the ball a little bit more. So you will see that uh, in future videos as well. But I like the idea that it is, it is a fantasy pack for you guys. Um, I would start getting those challenges done as usual because I'm recommending that you do it. Now I have to find time in my schedule to get it done as well because I just don't want you guys to feel like, yo, do this, do this, and I'm not doing it. So I never do that. I try to make sure that I'm doing you know, if I tell you I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna try my best to get this done because it is a fantasy pack. And I have a feeling that one of the developers might be like, you know what, let's let's make a good golden ticket. And that might be the one that we all get for free. So I'm probably gonna end up doing it. Let me know in the comment section, are you gonna do it? Like, is it something that you're still interested in? Are you looking forward to just getting your rookie premieres and be done and go to Madden 22? Let me know all that info. We're gonna talk about it in the comment section. Once again, I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. Until next time, one love, y'all.